This is a how-to on how to dry out a flooded building without removing the drywall and carpeting. I'll show you the cause and overview of the job site, the equipment, water extraction, generator, minor repairs, and carpet cleaning. My name is Micah Somariba. This is me. I'm the owner of Dry Express Restoration. This is some of our crew and some of the equipment we use for our drying projects. This is a dehumidifier on the job, a weighted extractor that I'll overview here in a second, and quite a few of our air movers that we use to pass air across wet components to dry them out. This is a commercial building, it's about 100 foot by 100 foot, so 10,000 square foot building. The cause of the flood was a broken pipe in the wall. It was left unattended for several hours. We're able to extract the water through the carpet and dry out the drywall in place. Here's our dehumidifiers again, our weighted extractor. We have several of these. A flood king that we use in conjunction with the weighted extractor to pull the water through the machine. Some of our injection dryers that we use to dry drywall in place, the tubes associated with it, another injection dryer, our air movers for directional air movement, axial air movers to dry out areas a little bit higher than um, a couple feet off the ground, our moisture meters used to check the moisture every day depending on the scenario, the sea snake for seeing behind drywall and tough to get to places, a thermal camera for checking moisture as well, and this is our weighted extractor. This is how we saved this customer a ton of money on this job. Essentially what our technicians do is we ride on top of it and it sucks the water through the carpet and pad by, pre by pressing against the bottom plastic part and the, and the pad underneath and sucking it into a, sanit a sanitary sewer. This job we had quite a bit of equipment on on the job site so we had to use one of our trailer mounted generators as well as some of our smaller generators for electricity and then when we were done we did some small minor drywall patching we replaced the plastic baseboards did some painting and then the final step we did carpet cleaning with our in-house steam cleaners which we do after all of our smaller large floods to make sure that all the components are clean. We are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week for emergency services and can be anywhere in San Diego County within one to two hours. Dry Express Restoration, we're San Diego's choice for all your water, fire, mold, and reconstruction needs.